started. So I'm going to get started. Um, the first thing that you're probably going to want to print is our packing guide. We have a 24 day packing guide and a 10 day packing guide. Mine will say 24 because my kids go 24 days. Um, these can be found on the website. Um, if you go to the tamaritcamps.com, there's a tab that says families and then preparing for camp. And right underneath there, there is our packing list. So I use this as my guide. This is not like the end all be all, um, but I use it as my guide. So what I do before camp starts is I go through and I look at everything that I have and everything that I need. And then I just start making crazy lists. Um, so like I already started making my list of things to buy. Um, this is all toiletries. So before I get started, Full disclaimer, you do not need to spend a lot of money to get ready for camp. Um, a lot of this stuff you will need to buy their first summer and then the summers after, it really is just like the toiletries that you need to buy. Um, you don't need to buy the top of the line stuff. A lot of the stuff does last. Um, and most of it, if not all, can be found at like Target, Walmart, Amazon, um, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, here we go. Okay, so. Um, I always start with the bedding because this is the biggest question that I get asked. Our kids sleep on twin size beds. We have new mattresses. They are pretty thick, but some of our kids still like to sleep on egg crates. Um, these are, this is like a condensed one. I just put it into a garbage bag and suck the air out for packing purposes. Um, but these are the egg crates that the kids like to sleep on. It makes the bed a little bit more comfortable. You do not need this. Um, this would be a want, uh, want not a need. Um, and then some of our kids like comforters, some like blankets to sleep with, and some like sleeping bags. We're okay with the kids sleeping with sleeping bags. Our one caveat is the night before a trip, we like to have the kids packed and ready to go. So they need to have something else to sleep with. Um, so that's why we recommend either a blanket or a comforter. Um, we also recommend sending two pairs of sheets because Lots of kids have accidents, which is fine. Having two sheets makes it really easy for us to swap them out um, and get everything washed really, really quickly. Um, so you know your kid best. If they sleep with a comforter at home, send a comforter. If they run hot, then a blanket is probably okay. Um, this comforter is like from Target. It's nothing special. And then the sleeping bag, um, you can find on Amazon or at Costco. Um, there is a type of sleeping bag that we like. I just got to figure it out. Um, synthetic, not cotton, synthetic, not cotton. Um, so that's bedding. And then I pack my kids in going all over the place. I pack my kids in bags and in, um, packing cubes. So their clothes go in here. And the way that I do it is everything gets labeled with a piece of duct tape. So, um, it might say sweatshirts, it might say t-shirts, underwear, socks, that kind of stuff. And they all go in these packing cubes. And um, the kind that I have just comes in like various sizes. And then the stuff that can't fit in a packing cube or that I don't want to go in a packing cube, um, I make sure that I have like every size Ziploc bag available to me. Pro tip, you should go get them right now because they will sell out. Um, so I have like the smaller ones, these, and I'll show you what I use them for. I have the slider bags. These are like the jumbo. And then I have these. Okay, so these are like the big extra large Ziploc totes, and in those goes their towels, um, or if I didn't have like a bag to put their comforter and blanket in, I would probably put those in there. Um, so my, I probably use about two or three of these, and I put their, I mainly put their towels in them. Um, again, you know your kid best. I am just, I'm crazy, so I separate my kid's towels. Um, they have like a solid color for the shower. And then they have beach towels for the beach and they just get put in two different um, Ziploc bags. Another pro tip, don't get white towels because their towels do end up on the ground. Um, so go for a color. Um, and then the other thing that I did is if, so like when I started, my kids went for 10 days, but I bought enough as if I was sending them for 24 so that the following summer, I didn't have to buy more. Um, think these, these are from Walmart and they're like the greatest towels. And I think they were like four bucks a piece. Um, so there's that. The other thing that I packed for my kids is a bag labeled theme day stuff. So I'm bright inside your kid, your child, if they're a 10 day camper, will do circus day. They will do uh, circus day. They do Foxfire. 
and I'm sure if we're getting something, but maybe not. And 24 day campers do Circus Day, Fox Fire, it's Israel Day, and they also do Color War, Maccabi games. Um, so what I do is I like to throw a bunch of stuff into this bag and I'm gonna show you everything that I have in here. Um, this is for my daughter who's a Fishman camper. Um, so for her, for Circus Day, um, get asked a lot like what the boys like to wear. So like a bow tie, an oversized bow tie. Um, they like to wear bandanas for Circus Day. Um, tube socks are a popular one. You can get them in like various colors. And then the girls um, like to do tutus. Um, they like to put like hair clips in their hair. Um, and then for Foxfire, it's our it's a Western theme. So some of the kids will wear overalls. Some just wear like a plain white shirt and jeans or just regular shorts and then um, a bandana. So it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, and then for Israel Day, we, the kids are in blue and white. And then for Maccabi games, each kid is assigned a team. Um, and we get asked this a lot, like, how do I know what color to send? Just send whatever color you want. The kids borrow. I promise that no kid is left with, uh, without a colorful outfit for uh, Maccabi. Once they get a little bit older and you know what color they're going to be on, then you can start sending in, <laughs> you can start sending in the color. Um, so like one of my kids is on the red team. So she gets these little beaded necklace. I found them at the dollar store. She has a tutu skirt. Um, she has sunglasses. And then um, she has like a red t-shirt that just goes with it. Um, and these are, again, like you can find a t-shirt anywhere um, just for inexpensive. So all this just gets shoved into this bag. I don't even bother to label it. Um, and then that goes back into the packing stuff. Um, my kids, I do not put like their Shabbat clothes separate. I don't put their theme day stuff separate um, when I'm packing them. Everything really just goes into a packing cube. So like their Shabbat stuff, even though it's a little bit nicer, I would just put them with like their t-shirts and their stuff that, um, like if they had a skirt that might go in with their shorts. Um, for the boys, for Shabbat, I get, we get asked about like, what should the boys wear? They don't need a collared shirt and khaki pants. Um, this is what I send for my son. Um, it looks just a little nicer, still like $4 from Target, but a little bit nicer of a t-shirt. Um, a lot of our boys just wear like a Hanes white color t-shirt and shorts. Um, they, it just like, is a little bit nicer of an evening. So that Shabbat, um, again, I don't pack my kids clothes separately, but you know your kid best, so do whatever you want, um, like how to pack them. The other piece of it is when I'm packing my kids, they are next to me. So I say, look what's in this bag. Do <laughs> you see your sweatshirts? Your sweatshirts are in here. Where are your sweatshirts? They're in here. Um, or I'll say to them, look, I'm packing this. It's here because I want them to know where everything is. Um, I do not label their socks and underwear because truth be told, I don't care if their socks or underwear come home, everything else gets labeled. Um, I happen to really like using, um, I like label daddy. I just think I like their, their colors a little bit more. Um, so there's these, um, you can use Mabel's labels. You could use the Sharpie. It doesn't really matter. A lot of people also like the, um, the ink stamper. Here's a little bit of a warning for the ink stamper. If you're doing it on a light colored shirt, it will bleed through. Um, so that's why I like these stickers and I just slap them right on my kids' clothing. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but everything gets labeled that I want to come home. Um, so that is the clothing piece. And then toiletries, the way that I pack them is so you're gonna want something. Our Schiffman and Applebaum cabins have showers in them. Um, Applebaum, uh, sorry, DeRoy, Fishman, and up, you have to walk to the showers. Um, so you want something that's meshed that the water can leak out of um, for your kids to put their stuff in. Um, so when I pack my kids, make sure it goes inside the baggie because stuff spills. Um, so I everything's labeled. I just use a Sharpie on these. Um, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. For our younger kids, a suggestion that I have if you're not doing a two-in-one 
is put a number one on the shampoo and a number two on the conditioner so they know what to use. If they use separate shampoo and conditioner at home, send separate shampoo and conditioner for camp. Um, that way they don't get confused. And then I put it right into this bath and this is what would go into the duffel. Um, and then the same thing with their ditty bag. Um, they get their toothbrush, toothpaste, um, hairbrush. And this is stuff that does not go into the shower with them. So this is stuff that they, there's a sink and a toilet in the cabins. So this is stuff that they probably keep by like the sink and the toilet if need be. That's toiletries. Um, and then the other thing, other few things that are really important. Um, so this is, this is my daughter's. She um, was a Chefman camper last year. Um, so what I did is I, these are like the Avery pre uh, labels and I put everybody's address on the labels. I personally did not pre like pre label everything for her because I didn't know how many people she was going to end up writing. This is like embarrassing. You can tell by the, the labels that are left on here, how many letters she wrote to people. Um, but again, I made sure that she knew whose name went with who. Um, so making sure like she knew who, whose label went with who. And then the other thing that I did to help her was, this is her um, stationary box. Kind of empty right now, but um, inside I made an envelope for her because they don't know how to write and they don't know how to address an envelope. We help them, but sometimes things like slip through the cracks. Um, so I labeled for her like where to put um, whoever you're sending it to. And then, um, the return address I did in a different color for her. So that's, you can't see it, but it's in red. Um, just so that she knew that all the red ones went up here. And then I showed her where the stamp went. I will tell you the people that work in the office are like super sleuths. So if something does not get labeled correctly, I would say like 9.98 times we are able to figure out who that letter goes to and we're able to re um, address it to get it home to you guys. Um, and then stamps also, if they forget the stamp, we stamp it in the office. And all that goes right into here. And this is her stationary box. Um, no, my other daughters. So some kids, the younger kids, um, they they have the stationary. They have this stationary that says, it's like a fill in the blank. Um, so our younger kids kind of like this. Um, and then... It, but um, I would also suggest like a postcard. Um, truth be told, for one of my kids, I just sent like colored paper and stickers and let her like decorate it. You don't need to spend like a ton of money on stationery. Um, but again, you know your child best. Um, so making sure that that you know what they want. Um, and that all goes in here and closes. Um, here. A few other things that I really, really like. Um, these are on Amazon. They come in like a pack. I don't know. There's got to be like at least 30 in here. And they come in various sizes. You can use their, um, they're just like a reusable Ziploc basically. Um, and I'll show you why I like them. So I use these for a bunch of things. Um, you could use it for packing. You could throw like sunscreen in here or whatever you want. One thing that I use it for is um, I use it as a busy bag. So we have rest hour every um, day at camp right after lunch. And a lot of our kids are kind of tired at that point. So we like them to sit on their beds and do something um, kind of peaceful, maybe with a friend, maybe by themselves. Um, so I just created like this busy manufa bag. Um, and inside of it, I found these like Uno cards to go. There's a coloring thing in here, Mad, Mad Libs. Um, I'll throw a deck of cards in there. There's Spot It, so like anything that they can play with their friends. Some of the boys told me that I, I should share with everybody that um, a football is a good idea. Make sure it's like the soft one. Um, the window breaks, we take care of it, but softer better. And then this is just like another little fun ball. Um, to play with. So this is our busy bag and this is what I use these for. Um, the same, all the ones don't get um, I get asked a lot about water bottles. 
Um, camp does get kind of dusty and sandy and things do get kind of disgusting there, okay? Um, I would suggest something that has a lid that is covered or at least not plastic. So like the Camelback water bottles that the kids like to chew on, those get pretty disgusting with all the dirt and sand that comes into them. So I would suggest something with, um, like this has a lid, but it also has a straw that's attached to it. So it doesn't get totally grimy. Um, this is just like a nail gene water bottle. No clue what this is. Um, but you get the point, anything with a lid. One other big thing. So you see that my kids' names are on their water bottle. The other really important thing is I put a sticker at the bottom. Um, we get a lot of lost and found at camp and it, this just makes it easier to have their first and last name on everything. Um, a lot of times like we'll say Steckler and like five kids will come and they're like, which Steckler? And we're like, we don't know. Um, so this is great to have their first name on here and then also putting first and last name on everything. Um, the last few things that I want to talk about are um, a lot of our kids, like as they're packing, will forget stuff. So they come to camp with a backpack and inside that backpack is anything that they forgot to pack. Maybe it's a pillow. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, their mom forgot to pack a water bottle or something. Um, the kids come with a backpack of some sort. Some kids like a string bag. Some kids like a regular backpack. Um, if you don't pack a string bag, I would suggest packing one in their duffel because this is what they, a lot of the kids do use day in and day out to carry around, um, to carry around day in and day out. They'll throw a water bottle in here. They'll throw um, sunscreen and various other things. A lot of the kids also come on the first day in some sort of camp swag. Um, so they might come in like just a Tamarack t-shirt or they might wear their village shirts. Um, I would suggest buying the village shirt. I think they're like $12. We do take a village picture and it is kind of cute to have everybody in the same shirt. So if you're gonna purchase like one thing, this would be it. Um, and then some of the kids have like tamarack necklaces or bracelets. Um, the other thing that I didn't talk about, um, and I'm almost done, is um, a crazy group. I say this every year. This is like one of those things that you should not cheap out in. Um, I have a hard time spending a lot of money on like my kids stuff or camp because it could get lost or it could get ruined. Trust me when I tell you that this thing like takes the biggest beating and lasts. Um, I think they're about, I want to say like between 50 and $60. Make sure you put their first and last name on it. Um, these are, this is something that usually doesn't get lost, but sometimes does. But if you are going to get one of these, my advice is to get like the real deal for this um, because I do think that they last. Um, I still have mine and I was a camper a really long time ago. Last but not least is what does everything go in? Everything goes into a duffel, okay? Um, all of us who work for camp have moved the duffel. Um, I promise you that you can fit everything that I just talked about and more into the duffel bag that I'm about to show you. Um, if you go to Brody's, you want the jumbo size bag. If you go to Perfect Trading, you want the medium. Okay, so I'm going to say it again because I think that this is super important. If you go to Brody's, get the jumbo. If you go, uh, sorry, Brody's, get the jumbo. If you go to Perfect Trading, get the medium. If you're ordering off Amazon, it needs to be, a, it should be a 36 by 18 by 16. Um, what happens is people think, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to fit everything. Or, oh my gosh, if they get older, it needs to be bigger. It does not. What happens is the bags get really, really heavy and then they end up ripping because we can't lift them and the kids can't lift them. Um, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna lift this up as best as I can. Um, this is one of my daughter's duffel. This is fully packed with all of her um, towels and bedding. Um, and this is the, this is the medium. Yeah, this is the jumbo or the medium. Um, so everything's in here. It is super full. Um, and we packed two of those for camp. So again, please do not buy the bigger ones. They just get so, so heavy. Um, but they, they do last if they're packed appropriately. Okay. That is it. I just did a whirlwind of a packing. <laughs> um, what? If you have questions, you can post them in the chat and we will try to answer them at the end. 
Thank you, Haley. 